Of the 70 supplements purchased from foreign online stores, the analysis showed illegal products throughout 27 of the samples. Copyright Mattel's Yenet. 27 of 70 supplements purchased, the Norwegian Food Safety Authority and Customs Service found products contaminated with the pharmaceutical ingredients sildenafil and tadalafil found in Viagra and Cialis respectively. Four of the products contained subutramine, an appetite suppressant discontinued in many countries and regions including the European Union. The import of products containing drugs and anabolic steroids is illegal and will be reported to the police by the Customs Service, said Merth Steen, head of section at the Norwegian Food Safety Authority, Madel Znet. We also found several examples that active substances found in the analyses are not listed in the ingredient list of the products. This is extra dangerous because people do not know what danger they are exposed to. Quality control issues This product, Bloods HR3D, contained amphetamine and prescription drugs that were not declared on the package. It also contained a number of plant-based ingredients classified as pharmaceuticals. Copyright Maddles Yenet in an analysis in 2017, supplements taken from energizing, slimming, painkillers, power-enhancing and so-called pre-workout product categories revealed the extent of contamination and lack of quality control. Products such as Japan TENGSU, a strength enhancer produced by Shige Pharmaceuticals, contained 53 mg of sildenafil per dose in a two-tablet pack. Mexi Bienetra, a company claiming to offer 100% natural herbal products of Malaysian origin, were found to be distributing a strength-enhancing product called Human S Need Forever Young that contained 4 mg of Tadalafil per dose in a two-tablet pack. Secret Slenda, a firm, which produced the slimming aid, N-I-N-E-T-R-I-C-A-P-S Secret Slenda, also received notification that its product contained 21 mg subutramine per capsule in a three-capsule pack. As well as pharmaceuticals, the authority also found several products containing caffeine content around 600 mg mg per tablet pack way beyond the 400 mg per day advised by EFSA as the upper limit for non-pregnant adults. Products found to be in reach of the rules include the Energy Booster, Mini Thin, 25 mg ephedrazine, High Speed Energy, and Stamina, distributed by US-based DBI. It contained 210 mg of caffeine per tablet in a 3-tablet pack. Yahimbine contamination This product, Fighter Diet, contained Yahimbine, a compound that is prohibited in dietary supplements. It also contained excess levels of caffeine, copyright Madel Zenit. Additional findings by Madel Zenit found three products containing the compound Yahimbine, Posinus Dahlia Yahimbe. The bark extract is currently being as being evaluated by the European Commission, EC, under Annex 3, a list of substances other than vitamins or minerals whose use in foods is prohibited, restricted or under community scrutiny. Annex 3 was amended by Commission Regulation EU, no 2015 400 thirds, to also prohibit the use of ephedra herb and its preparations from ephedra species. The regulation also subjects Yahimbe bark and its preparations originating from Yahimbe Posinus Dahlia Yahimbe K. Shum, Pierre X. Beale, to further EC examination. Additional support for its potency comes from EFSA scientific opinion that states its use can lead to severe side effects such as high blood pressure, manic symptoms, anxiety, agitation and loss of consciousness. The results show that the consumer poses a greater risk of ordering products from foreign websites. They should be critical of which websites they buy from and do not order products from websites that promise strong and powerful effects, the report concluded. It added that there might be signs that the products may contain illegal substances that are not declared, adding that it was important to buy only from websites that indicate which active substances the products contain. The products are ordered via foreign online stores and the Norwegian Food Safety Authority has therefore notified other countries' authorities via our international messaging systems, said Steen. We urge anyone buying food supplements from foreign online stores to think very carefully.